show today, we are back in Kauai, Hawaii, Mars, and tell them about it. We're doing a big old challenge. We're gonna paddle like 17 miles and walk 34, all in the name of the Kiala Foundation. Legit, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Roll the footage. All right, guys, today on the show, we are gonna go meet up with the Kiala Foundation. The Kiala Foundation is a nonprofit organization designed to keep kids off the streets and in the gym. Giving them life lessons and helping them live a better life. The Kiala Foundation is run by one and only Aaron Hoff, who is known for putting on long endurance events such as the Hawaiian Trail Run. Which we've done twice. Oh, sure. He is also known for putting on long endurance events that might not be so well planned and semi dangerous, putting you in precarious situations. Go! If you are known to survive one of these, you have known to live through a Hofstede situation. That means you almost died doing something with Hoffy, but you live. The event today is going to be 17 mile paddle along the Nepali coast, which is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And then you're gonna walk 12 miles where we're gonna sleep on the CrossFit gym floor, wake up the next morning and walk another 22 to the top of like a 4,500 foot elevated mountain. Hi, honey. Okay, so I'm gonna meet up with you after the Nepali coast and the paddle, but if you wanna donate, you can go to the link in description if you wanna give back to this amazing cause. Morning. 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 What's up, Bob? What are we doing? We're gonna go paddle 18 miles on the Nepali coast. Okay. Oh my gosh, is that a gravitational pull? No, it's yeah, just that's right. Yeah. Woo! Woo! So it's like, I don't know what time it is. It's like six in the morning. It's 7.30 in the morning. I was way off. Uh, it's been a long journey so far. Again, yeah, I just wanna thank everybody for coming out and doing this um, to support you know, all the kids on the island and basically, you know, creating this environment is, is the key for our, our culture and what we grew up with for the kids, because our kids deserve it. I'm thankful for everybody who sees how important this is and is willing to suffer, you know, paddle 20 miles. I'm a little <laughs> nervous, but eh. What fun is it if it's not nerve wracking, right? Let's go. So I should be nervous. Chris, uh, how long ago did you find out you were doing this? Friday. What day is it now? Tuesday. Tuesday? Okay, so like you had a couple days to prepare. Yeah, like a day. Did you just day. put this in your bathtub or what? How'd you prepare for this? Um, I paddleboarded in Sand Hollow last September for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Perfect, you should be fine. Have you ever done this before? Uh, not the whole coast, but uh, I've paddled a lot, so it'll okay. be a nice pond journey. Very cool. We're boat buddies? We are boat partners. Yeah. Basically, we're joined at the well, hip, and partners. we're going to tell life stories today, you know? Yeah. Get it, buddy. Yeah, that's our kayak. You're doing great. How long ago did you find out you were doing this? Uh, like two days ago. Okay, yeah, me too, dog. We're in this together. Are you kayaking? You paddling? We're with kayaking. Mine? I'm kayaking with my wife so I could end up divorced or drowned. Yeah, you okay. One of the two. Happen. Putting on my makeup. I'm pretty confident we're going to be okay. Pretty confident we're gonna be okay. This is my pregame. I got hydro and salt in the car. What's the furthest up paddleboard is three miles. Are you more on a lake? About, are you worried about the paddle or the this the walk? The paddle right now, because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's gonna blow up. You're the media guy? One of them. Okay, what are, what are we worried about? How many cameras you got out there? Like five or six. We got uh two scuba divers, one free diver, two drone guys, one of the, the captain of the boat is a drone guy as well. We are starting this journey. Heber, you're in a boat with Bickle, and I was like, oh man, I got a V8 <laughs> engine in my back seat. Let's go. What are we figuring out right now? Go back here. Oh, look at mama figuring it out. Yeah. Fired up, thinking, man, I got a straight warrior on my team. Oh, my head's upside down. Okay. Man, I'm so embarrassed for you. Yeah, I'm embarrassed for myself. <laughs> we pulled up the canoes and I was like, look, there's a place in the front for a bag, a place in the back for a bag. And I was like, Big Lama, go get the drone. He goes, why wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, I brought you the purdy birdies. Ah, thank I hope you. those will work. You like thank the color? You, you. So meanwhile, he's off getting the drone back in the van. I'm sitting out by the water watching everyone get their boat, take it to the launch point, and sail out to sea. <laughs> I don't know. It's happening, but... It looks chaotic, guys, you have to run. Uh, we good? Good. And Heaps is getting everything ready, so we strap it all the boat, and we try and launch the boat. Heaps jumps in. Oh. 
boom, we're upside down, like within five seconds of starting our kayaking ex expedition. Just let go of the canoe, let it go. So they pull it back up the shore and like we have to reset. So we have a, a total reset three minutes into the start. And in the back I had my Yeti backpack that was supposed to zip shut, but they had put something in at the last minute. The microphone. The microphone. <laughs> and if you look here on this video, you can see it's not quite shut all the way. When do I get in the boat? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Should, I get up? Should I get out from that side? So we get back out, we get going, finally. In my head, what was, what was supposed to happen is that we all get past the brakes, gather the horses, and head down the coast. Like a, like a big cavalry. Yeah, no, by the time we get out, there's already people a mile away. Yeah, they're finishing. China Cho <laughs> said, peace, I'm out. How often did we tip? Every five minutes, I'd say. <laughs> five to ten. And on that one, I got hit in the head by a paddle. My paddle. That's when it, for me, it got serious. We've got like eight hours of this. I just got hit in the head pretty hard. If I'm delirious in two hours and get hit in the head, am I gonna be coherent after that? Our only goal and our only advice we're given is to keep the shoreline on your right shoulder. So we'd line up our right shoulder with the shoreline and under two strokes, the boat would be going a completely different direction. <laughs> we have no ability to steer the boat whatsoever. I gotta do it. Well, this is for when you look back at it and you say, I did it. And we have the emergency jet ski and last man standing boat. They're videoing us getting thrown <laughs> off the kayak every five minutes laughing. No one's offering any advice on like what to do better besides you need to row in unison. We're like, yeah, we're trying that. We're getting no luck. Everyone's dusting us. My confidence is like an all time low. Mind you, we're 90 minutes and two hours in and I hear a hoffy and I go, oh, thank goodness someone came back. Now we can get some sort of education on how to work this kayak. We weren't giving up. We were simply going to keep on trying different options until we found one that worked. And so Heber and Aaron in the kayak they weren't flipping. Take a look at how low this kayak is sitting in the water. We'll come back to that in a minute. Someone's like, hey, why don't you just lay down and prone paddle on it? So I do, and I actually get some good speed. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And then like 17 seconds into it, my nipples feel like someone has <laughs> sandpapered them down to nothing. We get news that one of the kayaks has a seat open up in it. And again, I'm thinking maybe it's because the kayak was moving so slow, maybe we lighten up the kayak. It'll be easier, so Heebs goes, jumps in with the homie Ramon. That guy's a waterman, he knows what he's doing. I'm basically just shell-shocked for the rest of the kayak because I was so like just focused and zoned in on trying to survive with Bickle. And so he's like, hey, why don't you sit in the back? You can use your leg as a rudder. I'm like, stick your leg in the water to turn the boat. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm paddling with one leg in the water to keep it straight. And that's his coaching advice? Yeah, his go to <laughs> advice was stick my leg in the water. To give you an idea of what we went through in the water versus some other people, inexperienced kayakers such as Tasia Persevich or Lindsay Andrew, both in separate canoes, experienced exactly zero times of flipping their kayak over. We, on the other hand, flipped at least 17 times. I like finally found something that worked and I would get like, I was going 10 to 15 minutes of smooth sailing and then out of nowhere, would just be upside down in the water. So it was kind of emotional to be like out there with this beautiful landscape scenery. I mean like, oh, I felt like a near death experience at the beginning and then just being like having to work my butt off for three hours to get to the finish line. And then I got there and, and I did not expect my wife and kids to be there, which was very cool to see them there at the end. Did you look good? Thanks, love. That was so hard. Oh, 
I am so glad that's down. I don't care. The rest of this thing's gonna be terrible and kind of boring, but at least like the earth's not trying to drown me. Thank goodness for Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lifesaver. Lifesaver. <laughs> lifesaver. Because he got me to shore safe, buddy. <laughs> Every CrossFitter knows this part of the story. I have the entire congregation of every person that's ever been to Polo Hollies, all their friends and family, Heber's kids, his wife, my mom, all standing on shore cheering me in to be dead last. I feel like I'm like literally about this big of a human by this point. My confidence is now at a negative 10. Like I'm like so far off the scales of hating myself. When a guy walks up to me I've never met before, he's like, hey, were you in that red boat? And I was like, yeah, he's like, it took five of us to carry it over here. It drained for 15 minutes. There was at least 150 gallons of water inside the hole of the boat. It answered so many questions. We weren't rocking the boat when we were flipping. There was no waves when we were flipping. We would just like go down the ocean and then all of a sudden be upside down. Well, there was so much weight in the bottom of it that anything that disrupted it, we just got it rocking so crazy. We couldn't make it go straight because we no one taught us how to use the rudder and it was full of 150 gallons of water. So basically, Hebes and I like RX plus plus this workout, which we try and scale for life as we talk about. Yep. But there's times <laughs> when you get there. thrust into save your life with an RX plus 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 workout. So I literally paddled 17 miles with a 150 pound weight vest on basically. It's great. All right, that was legitimately one of the hardest things I think I've ever done in my entire life. That turned into full survival mode about instantly. I took off with the intentions of having a drone a nice photo camera and a GoPro to kind of capture the experience. Yeah, this guy right here saved my life, Ramon. All right. He got me through it. He saved my life. Yeah. Right, Made it, bro. Lost my boat, mate. Check it out. Hi, honey. Hi. Turn around. Show yourself. Hi. Yo, you look so cute. Hi, honey. My foot cramped up putting on my shoe, which is a good start. All right. We are going to kick off the walk. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The plan now was to walk from Polahale Beach to CrossFit Kakeha, about 12 miles away. Hey Maverick, Maverick, what toy did you bring? Oh, whoa! Is that a baby kind of Taurus? Yes. What about you, fam? What, what do you, you got, bud? Godzilla. What's up, people? My toys are two Pixar-looking kids. Yeah, two new security guards right here. We're off to the races. My kids hop in. They've got Tevas and dinosaurs on their hands, and they're like, "Dad, we want to do this whole hike. I want to sleep at the gym tonight." I might walk the whole thing. I'm gonna walk this whole walk. I might be squeezed over, over with you guys. Oh, you might? This is gonna be awesome. And I was like, let's make it a mile, buddy. You gotta keep up, Finley. Come stand next to me. How far have we walked? I think four miles. Four miles? Would you rather walk or go get ice cream? I want to walk. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are the best and the worst. I love you boys. The boys are doing better than most people here <laughs> and their spirits are high and they're in Tevas. At one point my wife pulled up and Finley, my youngest, just took off sprinting because he didn't want to get in the car. <laughs> he thought if he just got ahead that it wouldn't be a problem. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Oh, let's go. Hey, me wants to it out. We thought it was so adorable, we gave him another mile. Finally, when we got to the pavement, we threw him in the car. They cried. They were super sad about it, which was heartbreaking as a dad. I know, buddy. And I know you do too, Maverick. You're so strong. I'm very proud of you. What's the most important thing? I love you. Okay, what's the most important thing, buddy? Okay, I love you too. I know, I know. Okay, you guys did so good. I know you guys wanted to come the whole way. Everybody survived. Heber and Bickle didn't drown. Who now are you we... most concerned about today? Today? Yeah. Um... You two guys. <laughs> I was like... Is that a respected paddle then? Oh yeah, that's a respected paddle. That paddle is legit. People don't realize like, how shark infested what we just paddled over was. Oh good. I was bleeding the whole yeah. time, so that's cool. <laughs> we were all bleeding. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Uh, hammer time. Okay, perfect. How many miles have we gone? 6.71. Oh, that's over halfway, dude. Crashing it. Oh. Okay, so why are we doing this, though? We're doing this because we run a foundation over here that offers free CrossFit 
gyms for kids. We also are starting a rehab camp for kids. And over here we have a massive drug problem. We have the environment for them that we can carry them through the most dangerous years of their life, their teenage years. So that, and also by the time they graduate and stuff, they have all the opportunities at their fingertips so they can be successful. So if you guys want to donate, we'll put the link down in the description. You can donate to help out these kids here in Hawaii. Help save some lives. We're at seven miles right now. We just passed. Bickle told us he's back there. Seven, seven miles. Seven miles. Five more miles to go. And then we'll probably see Mars. Then. Okay, just got to Kauai. I've got Tyson in the back. What's up, dude? Oh, what's up? So they've been on a trek, to say the least. They, they paddled all day. They got out, and then they've been walking for like 12 miles or so. 13 miles. 13 miles. Yeah. So we're going to meet up with them to help them finish the last little part bring and it. bring it on home. Uh, I'm coming for you, Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. oh we no, no, we're just good. Good to see you. Hey! This has been spiritual, bro. This has been a journey. This is where I was at, okay? Okay. I had a, this water bag, which I'm really glad I bought last night, and a Yeti bag, and they were both on the kayak with me. Okay. And at one point I was like, all of this camera gear is probably ruined. I don't care, I just gotta survive. <laughs> you were like, Dude. So I was like, put it on the jet ski, get it the hell out of here. Thank goodness for that water bag, all the camera gear survived. Oh, good. My concern was more about my life than the camera gear at one point. Damn. You can see it on my whoop down, it's pretty fascinating. My panic was through the roof. Okay, so super last minute, you were just like, I'm in. I'm in. And roof. so, yeah, I'm running a marathon in like two weeks. So I figured, you know, Tyson, you want to do it? And he signed Hell, up yeah. before me. Like, I hadn't even signed up yet. <laughs> this is it. We made it to the gym. So I left my house at 5.30 this morning. The first hour of the journey was driving up and then we've been on the go ever since. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey. Oh, look at this. Yo, what's up, Spill? I Whoa! How are you here? Hey, welcome. Yeah. Good to see you. How you doing? Um, better now. Get in. Get in. <gasps> Come on, Lindsay! Lindsay you gotta Lindsay. want it! Look at this, like a pro. Woo! This is nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a man in his element right there. Oh. Well, well, who's this? <laughs> Bro, how's this tan? You look real Talk tan. to me about the tan. Can we can we do a, at least a one hour interview yeah. on the tan? Yeah. This is something that you don't get overnight. You don't no. get this in one to two years. Definitely this is a decade not. of tanning right here and yeah. feeling good, honestly. Hey, what's your preparation for your sleeping arrangements? <laughs> <laughs> so I go to me and they're like, yeah, bring the blanket and pillows. I'm on vacation, bro. I didn't pack blanket and pillows. And I brought my long shorts. You want to see them? Yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow, 20 mile, 20 mile walk at least, right? 20 mile walk uphill both ways. I'm gonna roll up next to a med ball and pass the F out. Yeah. I'm so tired right now. Yeah. I think there's a lot of snorers here. <laughs> It's gonna sound like a, a zoo. It's gonna be like a, a choir. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You baritone? <laughs> Ooh, I need, you know what we need? Some beam. This would be, be a perfect time, Did opportunity. I don't have beam. What? Right? I mean, I got it here on the island. Of course I brought it on the island. I didn't bring it on my day back. That's the last thing I was thinking about this morning was, was what I, how was I gonna sleep? I was just trying to figure out how to stay awake the whole day. If you guys like what you see on the channel, please leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the Buttery Bros channel. For every new subscriber we get, we are gonna donate $1 to the Kiala Foundation up to $2,000. So subscribe. We'll do the same thing for comments. Help us give us some more money. You know? All right, man. Leave I'm it down ready. below. You, you ready you, to get it? I, I'd be. Let's go. Hey, good morning, sweetheart. Dude, <laughs> this is my bed. And I've had better. Mm. <laughs> How'd you oh. sleep? Oh, I slept like a baby. You I did? woke up every 20 minutes crying for my mama. <laughs> yeah, okay. You really, you really want to sleep like a, a teenager. What was the hardest part yesterday for you, Dan? The walk was probably harder than the paddle, honestly. Really? You got knee pain? What do you got? No, just I'm slow. This is my foot footwear of the day. Wow. The Earth Runner. Okay, day two. Uh, Glad you made it, bro. You got a lot of miles on them feet. Yeah. I'm just starting out. Cheers. Cheers, Ready my guys? guy. Yeah. What was the last time? What's the furthest that you've ever gone in a single distance? Uh, probably the state fair. I think I covered about 10k. That's a good amount at the state fair. 
So it's all uphill today, right? It's all uphill both ways. 22 miles to the top of Kokei. It's a beautiful flight in a helicopter. <laughs> I don't know what 22 miles is gonna feel like. Me neither. On pavement. You think Dan Bailey's gonna hold up? Dan Bailey looks like he's struggling carrying yeah, those yeah. biceps he, in general, yeah, so got a lot I don't of know. Pull. Yeah, so uh, let's go get it. All right. Okay? Cheers, my man. Cheers. If you're ever in Hawaii, get the Lilikoi lychee flavor. It's my favorite. Yeah. Ah! How do you describe Hoffy? Uncle Hoffy is always willing to give. He's just always giving. Every time you see him, he's doing something for the community. Hoffy, you're the man, you know? Bringing these kids up in a good way. Ready? I gotta know, I gotta know what's happening here. So me and, me and Dan were talking. He's like, what do you, why do you even do what we do? I was like, well, my plan was to do the paddle so that we only use our upper body. Yeah. And then walk so when we get to the beach, we'll be fresh. You feeling fresh? But kind of, come to find out, like it doesn't, it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> my, my toes aren't blistering, so we're good. Yeah? yeah Yours that's... on the other hand. My feet are great. Really? I mean, they hurt, they're swollen, but I don't have blisters. Well, I thought, I thought you had like some, like a hitch in your step there. Oh, that's just because I suck at walking, man. You're just like a Ferrari, you know? They're not yeah. meant to go slow. It's like on or off. What's farthest you've ever walked? 70 miles. Oh, yeah, you did last time. <laughs> yeah, time. yeah. This. this is easier, for sure. Day one last time, we went in thinking 70 was gonna be a joke, and at mile 37, we are just covered in blisters, and we didn't have bougie air mattresses and all the things we have this time, so. Yeah, I don't know that I'd call it bougie. <laughs> I slipped on a towel. How are we holding up? We're, we're charging on. Okay. <laughs> How far in? Oh man. 3.8. 3.8. We got a while to go. <laughs> Just that right pace, you know? Back of the track. Wow, you got a good sweat going there, big. Bro, I'm lathered. Yeah. This oh. is all part of the 10 year tan plan. If you don't if you don't oil and then sweat, you're not gonna bring in the rays the way you need to. Okay. How we feeling? How you doing? I feel like I got this in the bag, man. I'm marathon training right now. It's just good good miles in on the are feet. You, you... The year's 2019. Marzen is struggling with his knee on the Hawaiian mountain slopes. Uh. And all he wants to do is get some Skittles or maybe some Sour Patch watermelons. And he gets to the top, Tommy and I had eaten all of them. This is awful. But guess what? We're not at the top. You're going to totally redeem yourself. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're getting to near the top. Yeah, I mean, we're high <laughs> on life. On life and, and an elevation. It's pretty cool. I've seen this view a few times, and every time it's kind of breathtaking. We've got, they say, 10 miles left. And I'm still somber. Yeah, that's that's gonna stay with you for a little yeah. bit. She goes, put yourself in a bag of rice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call those bad boys? Jesus walks with me. <laughs> Earth runners. What's up, dude? My guy! You guys made it! Ah, buddy! Yeah. yeah! This is the best news ever! <laughs> I know what that meant. I know what he intended to say there. Butter bros! Butter bros! The boys wanted to run, so we're running. Butter bros! It looks like you got a little bit of a hitch. What's going on? What's the what's the latest? The feet are totally fine. They're just sore. Oh, okay. It's not good at walking. You know. <laughs> Dude, but you're I'm so not, good at so many other things. God gave me so many gifts. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the update. We got to this uh, little rest station. Waiting on Hoff. Hey, how far? A while back. All right. I think, but we we still got anywhere from two to five left. I feel good. All right. This is the drink. Hydro and salt. True story, I kept traveling and seeing athletes doing CrossFit and training hard, and they would get these protein drinks, and then they'd add salt. And so I said, why do you guys do that? And they said, because most of the supplement industry cares about how you look, not how you perform. We add salt because that's what we sweat out. So that makes a lot of sense. So when we started Podium, this was the first product I wanted to make. And it's the one, hands down, I use the most. Oh yeah, that's a good girl. How we feeling? My hip is just done, dude. I'm like surprised it hadn't just popped out of the side of my body. Ah. <laughs> I know. Well, we're going, bro. Waiting for you. We're all gonna walk with you now. Mm. 
That's the best part of arriving in Coke. Yeah. It's my sugar lips. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of like right now, there's a part where you get up there where your mind like tries to tell you to quit and it just gives up. That's the breaking point. And then you go and, and then your mind just like, you know, that you break that part of you that just tells you to quit. It's just like, and then, and then you're just like a peaceful, yes. you just can't express, you know, you can't even explain it. It's just like, and that's with you alone with your body just understanding that you're gonna go. So it's just kind of like everything comes together. It's a feeling you can't describe. You just gotta go, you just gotta do something like this. Yesterday I experienced it. Today's, yeah. been, today's been just a, just chill and when things got a little dark, uh, it's the special helpers get to do it. Yeah. If Dan can carry those biceps up this mountain, we can walk our hips up, you know? Look at this group. It's kind of cool. We all waited for half. Now we get to finish strong together as a crew. Doing this again? Yeah, I mean, we gotta get Hoppy up there. <laughs> okay. You know how Krauser yeah, rolls? No man, one, the rule no man left dollar. behind. Usually if I finish the workout before y'all, I don't like do the work that you still have to do, you know? Well, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, right, there you go. There is some room for improvement right yeah, there. Hey, yeah, awareness right. is major key. <laughs> What's the most important thing? I love you. That's it. I love you. All right, you already did this earlier? Yes. Yeah? How many, how many more minutes we got? Oh, we are nearing the end. Are we? I would say 25 more minutes. But it's going to feel like the longest mile of your life. Oh, good. That's how I like to start my last mile. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> that was almost so cool. Rookies. <laughs> You're so dry. You got my shoe wet. You've been my greatest mentor, bro. I love you. Thank you, bro. This has been so fun. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, look at this view, guys. So this is the view right here. here. Is this where about where you saved my yeah, life? Right there, and we're outside the car. This is really cool to be here with my family. I don't usually get to travel with my family, and that's been important today. That's part of the reason this is so cool. Look at this. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. We did it, Hibs and Tice. I got kind of emotional walking up that last 100 feet. Just, it's been a, it's been a journey, man. It's been a journey. I mean. You, you did a double the journey I did, but I, I definitely feel like I was in it with you. 10 hours of just ass kicking. Meanest chipper ever. Hey, so what's it mean? What's it feel like? What is it feels most good? Just seeing everybody all make it together, yeah, all the Oscar. kids. Just brings the family closer. This is a miracle. Yeah, it is. You're a great guy, Hoff. Thanks for letting us come out here and do this with you. Yeah. You're all right, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. All right. Okay, I have a cool down exercise I need you guys to do, okay? So <laughs> Shout out to the Butter Gang. What do you got? I got the workout data provided by Whoop. We're gonna look at my kayaking because it was terrifying and the data is kind of interesting. Yeah. All right, so if you look, you can tell I was struggling when I was hanging out with my boy Bickle. Panic mode. You can see my heart rate is through the roof over here on that left side of the graph. Yeah. And then you can see exactly where Hoffy shows up and my heart rate dramatically drops down to a, what a good reasonable guy. 75 because I just sat on the kayak while, while Hoffy paddled me to safety. Uh, and then the rest of the next two or three hours is just me working my butt off, paddling, doing something new. But that was an 18.3 strain. 18.3 strain just on the kayak alone. That total day strain that day was a 19.6. Jeez. Yeah, well tell me about your walk. Yeah, the next day. <laughs> okay, so I showed up a little late to the party here. I, I walked for all day and I got a 7.0 strain. What's up with that? You got a 7.0 strain and on that same day I had like a, I had a 15 strain. It says I spent 308 minutes at 50 to 60% of my max heart rate, yet I got a strain of yeah, I got, 10 burpees. I got a 15.1 strain on that. So you must be super fit and ready for that marathon. That's what I, yeah, a marathon training, good miles on the feet. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Here we Who go. We got, we got Michael, Michael Hernandez. Hernandez. He's 48, he's from the US, he's a level 18, he's got a 98 day, day day streak, it's a pretty good streak. Pretty good streak. Uh, he's got activities, functional fitness, and running. Shout out to you, Michael Hernandez, what are we gonna send him? Slide into my DMs and we're gonna hook you up with a brand new Whoop strap. Thank oh. you for being a part of the Butter Gang. If you aren't already, use code PANCAKES, it'll get you 15% off a Whoop subscription, and into the Butter Gang, we out. We're just, what are we doing right here? Well, we're transferring the media from the media team. Check out the Yo, media, media team. team. Okay, give me all your deets. Who are you? Sean Vogelsang. Okay, what's your Instagram? Sean Vogelsang. Isaiah. Isaiah, at, we met uh, earlier. Isaiah. At Isaiah, all spelled out. And what's your name? 
T Mac, 808, Trevor. Okay. Right All right, on. follow these guys, give them some love. They shot the behind the scenes and aerials and underwater stuff that you've seen throughout the episode today. Also our boat crew, we had uh, Josh and Bree and uh, Papa Khan, Captain Khan. Papa Khan. And big shout out to them. <laughs> Thank you so much for putting all the resources together. It was like a really big event and like uh, trying to make it work. It just looks amazing. I couldn't ask for anything better. So Keala Foundation is actually starting a YouTube channel. You can find them at Keala Foundation TV on YouTube. And there's nothing there yet, but there's about to be. Go subscribe. We'll leave that down in the comments. So if you go down to the comments section, we're going to pin a comment from them, and you can go check out their channel there. Mahalo. We're yeah. going to go mahalo so hard now. Uh, Aloha. Yeah. Uh, explain to me what this dinner's all about. What's going on? It's a celebration of everybody finishing a hell of an adventure. We raised 140 grand. Um, so. Our goal was 200, but I'm happy with that. Yeah. And everybody, everybody came out of the ocean safe, and Eber didn't die. How long have you been coming here to Hawaii and been involved with these guys? Since 2018, so I'm deeply in love with the foundation. I think Hawaii and the Keala Foundation is just very much a safe space. We don't see that a lot, so it's really cool to see that just like filled with love. One of the biggest things that happens when you do events like this and do really hard things like this together is you, you actually create more of a family, I believe, and it's, um, I've learned that through my sufferings, I get closer to people. Just so you guys know, your family's bigger now, and you're, you're a part of our Ohana over here, and our doors are always open. Ultimately, this massive group of people came together to make more noise in the water and the final loop, and we blocked the road, but it allowed people to slow down. It allowed people to ask what we were doing and who we are, and. You know, that turned into, hey, we are the Keala Foundation and we are here to create healthy environments for the youth and safe places for the youth that are free of drugs and alcohol and to have a home for the rest of their life and in turn support their island that they raised, that they were raised on to do good for their own community. Extra strength because we're extra tired because we walked extra far. I'm, I'm beat. How's your feet, bro? Feet are not bad. I'll tell you, it's the, uh, the joints. Okay, end of show. End of show today, we're getting beamed up, but we're gonna give away a Whoop 4.0 band and a year and subscription a... to GoWad. Were Go you trying to step on me there or Yeah, what? I was gonna tell you about the GoWad, okay? This is my new favorite feature on GoWad, is I just go into the app, and then I say like, hey man, I'm really sore in my lats, calves in this instance, boom. And I got all these, I got all these stretches. I'm gonna come down like this, and then I apply it, and then I can go to work. So I'm actually gonna stretch back here on this stuff. Well, Marsden, uh, tell us about the winner. Okay, so from our last week's show, we are giving away a Buttery Bros Blenders combo here. So this is the comment that won. Yeah, you Shout out to you. We would say your name, but this is filmed before we even know who you are. So that's the comment. Yeah, so we're gonna be sending you a pair of uh, blender shades. Maybe the Buttery Bros signature ones, right? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll, yeah. Let, we'll let Blunders decide, actually. Yeah, yeah. So hit me in the DMs on Instagram and give us your address and we'll hook you up, whoever your name is right there. I'm just, I'm just calf stretching on yeah, this wall. Yeah, I'm stretching back here. I'm trying to block that light, too. Hey, tell them about liking and subscribing. So, like we've always said in the past and we will continue to say in the future, like and subscribe really helps us out. You know, we're trying to... Trying to, trying have to get a quarter million subscribers yeah. by the end of 20. Trying to just have people be part of the party with us here. Uh, special thank you to the Keala Foundation and Hoff and the whole people out here that brought us out. It's like a family. We love this team. So tell, tell them what it means. Go out, do tough things, push yourself. We train really hard in the gym so that we can live life outside of the gym. Gym. Outside of the gym. Gym. I like to describe it as finding experiences that build your life resume. At the end of your life, what are you gonna remember? Are you gonna remember the five Metcons you did on a, on a Wednesday? Or nope. are you gonna remember paddling the Nepali coast in a near-death experience in a tipping kayak? Tipping over, tipping over, and then your buddy meeting you halfway to, to, to catch yeah, up on that. Yeah, to around. save your life, yeah, yeah. Save, yeah. That, I'm gonna remember. I'm not gonna remember the Metcon I did last week. I'm gonna remember this. But you do remember most of your Metcons. Yeah, so I got a pretty good memory. <laughs> she does. All right, bye, honey, but she's over there. I'm gonna go have a cuddle with her now, bye. <laughs>